everybody, we are standing on the Franklin Battlefield just south of the historic Carter House, the town of Franklin, beyond the house to the north. You can see the farm office riddled with bullet fire, the smokehouse just to the west, also pockmarked with reminders of the fighting on November 30th, 1864. And as we look out toward the west and then toward the southwest, we're looking at a modern miracle. This ground was all covered. There was a house in the distance, there was a house literally right where I'm standing and another house to the south. We bought this tract, it's now been about seven or eight years ago, for almost three million dollars. The tract beyond it was almost a million. Various tracts east of Columbia Pike, 800,000, a million, half a million. It's been a lot of money. It's also been a lot of time and it's all been worth it. As we walk across what was in the 1850s and the 1860s part of the Carter Garden, this area was the scene of some of the worst fighting of the American Civil War. The viciousness and the bloodshed and the fury and the bravery that unfolded here is hard to describe, but it happened. And it happened here. And for a long time, this battlefield was covered up and the battle itself was forgotten. Nobody much cared about Franklin, but like a phoenix coming out of the ashes, in the late 20th century, there was this movement to tell this story and to put Franklin in its proper place on the national scene because Franklin deserved better. This was a place that was as important as Shiloh and it was as important as Chattanooga or Chickamauga. It was incredibly important to the outcome of the war and the men who died here, well, their lives were the price we had to pay to get to the end of the war, but the men who survived this, they desperately tried to save this, to make it a park, to make it a national park, to save something. They failed, but it is their efforts and their shoulders that we stand on as we've worked this. And I've, I've often said, I think they would be very proud of what we have done. You can now see interpretive signage on the battlefield, but the opportunities are not yet finished. As long as I've been coming to Franklin, which is now over 30 years, and I've lived here 20, I have looked at this horrible thing and wished that we could get it off the battlefield. But all of what I've just described to you as far as reclamation requires willing sellers. We finally have a willing seller. The price is $5 million. For many of you, this is not news. We've been raising money now for several months, but we need more. And every day we get closer to the deadline. The closing date on this is October. So just before the 160th anniversary of the Battle of Franklin, we need to close this deal. And then you know what we need to do? We need to tear this thing down. We need to rip it to the ground so we can reclaim the ground so we can reclaim the view shed. We have already secured property on the other side and a piece of property south of that. So we'll be able to restore a view shed that will be several hundred feet deep. Think about this. You will be able to be probably a quarter of a mile south of Carter House and be able to look back toward the north over the battlefield you'll be able to see a view shed that has been compromised and destroyed for over a century. That's what we're doing. We need your help and we need it desperately because this really is the last major piece of the battlefield that we can save in this area. You'll see the information at the end of this video where you can donate. There's no amount too small. Obviously, there's no amount too big. Let's help reclaim more of the battlefield. Thanks.